I, I can tell you that um, this is obviously a highly stressful time for him. Two counts of second degree murder. Robert Leeming has been formally charged in the deaths of Jasmine Lovett and her 22 month old daughter, Aaliyah Sanderson. The accused and the victims live together here in this southeast Calgary community, a community where residents have started tying purple ribbons to trees, ribbons which represent domestic violence. Back in the courtroom, the 34-year-old British national only spoke twice during his CCTV appearance in front of a justice of the peace, using a soft tone to confirm the connection was working and his date of birth. Leeming was taken into custody and released during the investigation, but remained a suspect. Leeming's defense team says it's too early to know if they'll pursue bail. It's certainly available to us and something that we will pursue if it's, uh, you know, if it's, um, if it's reasonable and, and can be done, we definitely will uh, pursue it. They also weren't sure if there are any safety concerns for their client at the remand center, given the case involves a child. It is always uh, something that's in your mind uh, for people charged with these type of offenses, and we just hope that the uh, guards at the remand center will do their bit, and and, uh, and uh, you know the man is innocent till proven guilty, and uh, you know he should be treated the same as anybody else. The formal laying of charges is just the first step in what will be a long and difficult process for everyone involved. But the community support extends beyond these ribbons. An online fundraising page has been set up to pay for memorial services for the mother and daughter. The case returns to court next Tuesday. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.